Hello, good afternoon, everyone. It's nice to see you here. I'm going to show something different, something special today in this last hours, I guess. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you that Ubuntu can run on everything. It can run on your laptop, on your desktop, on your server, on your virtual private server. And lastly, in this nugget, smartphone. And I'll tell you how, you, how, do you, how did you do this in Ubuntu in this thing. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, because of the uh, time constraint, I'm not going to tell uh, a lot of stuff to detail. Uh, so uh, some, uh, some technical stuff are uh, stripped here. Uh, so before I start, uh, okay. Before I start, I'm going to uh, greet myself to you. Uh, uh, I'm Eric, and most original misspelled Eric to be Eric. So whatever, call me, uh, call me whatever you want. Uh, I'm, I came from uh, Benton. Uh, previously, I'm. Uh, just graduated uh, at Surabaya ITS, and now I'm working as hardware engineer at daytime and become Linux enthusiast at nighttime. Yeah. And first of all, uh, the reason why uh, why we try to put Ubuntu in smartphone because nowadays Android becomes so over engineered, so hard to work with, especially if you are trying to learn hardware. Uh, so there must be a way to strip out this complexity. And besides of that, it's, it feels so fun to, to try to hack something, <laughs> to pen test. It not, don't, do, don't do illegal hack, just uh, ethical hacks, okay? Uh, I mean, if you're, if you're a gamer, you're familiar with watch to game, and it seems that everyone can hack something from smartphone, and yeah, this this has dream become true. And, and how to do that? I will tell you. Uh, actually, it's pretty simple to do that thing. Uh, it's just a matter of time. So I r suggest you to do this at the weekend with your spare, uh, with your spare smartphone. Don't, uh, don't do this on your daily driver just yet because uh, some fundamental stuff like uh, mobile banking and WhatsApp, it's still uh, experimental. And uh, yeah, and the rest is pretty simple and straightforward. The installer is uh, really easy to work with. Uh, uh, it's probably some quicks here, but yeah, you can, you can do this with just uh, several clicks. And um, yeah, uh, just keep in mind that uh, all of the Ubuntu Tosh, or Ubuntu that works on smartphone, it mostly came from community instead of uh, Canonical itself. Uh, Canonical actually support this project, but uh, uh, it's, uh, it's work of community. So, so some people uh, figured out how to work with this hardware and put Ubuntu in it, and it just works. So uh, let me do a little demonstration here. Uh, but before that, uh, I'm going to tell you what you can do with this, uh, <laughs> with this uh, Ubuntu on smartphone. Uh, first, you can convert this uh, smartphone become a uh, portable CCTV because on Android, it's uh, a lot of working mechanism, so it makes uh, CCTV less uh, effective. And you can explore the phone's hardware, you can read the modem, you can do something with the modem, and you can build a portable web server. You can put uh, Engine X in it, uh, Apache, a lot of stuff, a lot of interesting stuff. And also, you can do fun stuff with someone router, <laughs> uh, and a lot more. This uh, the creativity. Uh, the creativity is your limit. So you can do a lot of stuff in it. Uh, okay, I'm going uh, to do some quick stuff here. Yeah. Camera, is it work?
okay. Okay, as you can see this, this is Ubuntu. It's not a skin, it's not an app, it's not a launcher. It's a real Ubuntu working on Redmi, <laughs> Redmi Note 7 Lavender. And let me tell you something. Uh, the lock screen is quite unique. You can do something here. It's not always circular. You can, you can make it a regular one. So I'll put some, okay, and Oh, wrong password, sorry. Okay. Okay, this is the home screen of the Ubuntu Touch. And all you have to do is just swipe left here. It shows the app. Also, the default browser, it's, uh, it's not always Firefox. Uh, First time you're installing uh, Ubuntu, uh, it's, uh, it, it's, uh, it has a Morph browser pre-installed, and you can put any browser in it. Uh, it's up to you. And to change to the other app, you can just swipe here. Uh, it has a little nice uh, between app, and you can start uh, another app like calculator. Yeah, move that around. And yeah, it's pretty unique. And it's a lot of stuff to, to, do, uh, to do here. It's just uh, unlimited uh, uh, probability of, yeah, you can do a lot of stuff here. And um, yeah, maybe it's not much uh, I, can talk, uh, I can talk here. Uh, so if you are interested to try, you can install it uh, on your spare device. Uh, perhaps you have ever uh, upgrade your phone and you, you don't want to waste your old phone, it's, uh, it's a good time to install Ubuntu and having fun with it. Uh, yeah, that's it. And yeah, sorry for that. <laughs> There's a last, uh, last slide. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for attention. If you have uh, another question, you have, have a question about how can I do this, how can I do that, uh, what I can do with this Ube first, you can uh, contact me at Instagram or uh, Linux community. Uh, we are open to, to discussion. Uh, thank you.